Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. And it's time to start thinking about Christmas. Right. And a lot of people do a lot of different things. They have train gardens, they have little buildings, little villages around their tree or up on the mantle or something like that. We put ours on the piano. <laughs> we have a, a baby grand. I have uh, a nice sideboard. That's where mine goes. But so it's yep. miniaturization. Uh, it is. part of what Christmas is. You see a lot of ornaments with little miniature scenes in them and stuff. And we've started one here. Yeah, this is kind of cool. We took one of the things right out of our Christmas shop and just added it here. Um, and we've added some of the people and things. And we've kind of put the base it down for a, just a little stream scene. But what I like to do is add real plants, keep that gardening thing going in the spring, or in the winter time. <laughs> think spring. <laughs> yeah, I'm always thinking yeah. spring. Okay, so we're just going to take some of these out and just line them up around here, if we can take them out of our pots. Okay. And just create a nice little hedgerow, almost, of some different plants here, just for fun. Uh, you, when you're working with soil, <laughs> you can't help but make a little mess. You know, you want to, of course, fix the roots so that they don't all get balled up under the plant. And then did you want this in the back corner? Yeah, of this let's particular put that in the back one? corner. I think okay. we already kind of, and we'll sort of clean up around the edges a little bit. And get the dirt out of the pot. Oh, there you go. Yes. Oh, yeah, my special tool there. Um, mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that you can do is take some things from outside. Um, if you have some live moss growing, you can use that, or you can use some dried moss, and just kind of tuck it in to, to finish it's off It's like a florist-type uh, material, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll put some of that around. Um, and we can also add some stones just that we pick up outside and put those here and there, just kind of for fun and for a little bit of, I guess, just, you know, just, just to bring some of that outside mm -hmm. in, not just in our interior gardens, but also in, in these types so of So the Christmassy part really comes from uh, either really small ornaments, uh, little figurines you have. Uh, again, everywhere you go, you see these Christmas villages out there, so the accessories that go with that will Christmas it. And on the other hand, if you want, you can just pour snow over the whole thing. Well, let's the, do some the artificial of that. snow. Oh, we have some of that. Yeah, we've got oh, our, okay. our real plastic snow okay. right here. So, <laughs> so, so what do I, how do I want to do that? I don't well, want it on the stream, right? You don't want it. Well, I mean a little bit. I'm certainly when we go out in the wintertime, we'll see some of that. Now, this can be a little messy. But so you direct me as to how to. Oh, I think maybe you want to do it job. lightly. Do it lightly here and there. You can take some of those spots where I left soil mm -hmm. and just fill in around there. Put a little bit on the grass. So it looks just like my lawn just tends to look hint. around oh, the holidays. Just, just a hint, in other just words. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it really makes it more holiday-ish. Maybe on the building, although Put the building already had some there. Oh, yeah, up on the trees. Little fresh, fresh yeah. fallen soap. Over here on the little little uh, bridge. This is something Slippery that bridge. sometimes you want kids help, sometimes you don't. Maybe <laughs> not with this stuff. Maybe not with this Whoa. stuff. Yeah. But this is Anchored fun, and I mean, there. you know, yeah. I'm going to go through and shovel the walk before everybody comes to my house. <laughs> but I have a lot of fun with this. I don't know why, but I, I decorate more with these little village pieces than anything. And being able to include my plants in that just makes it fun. Oh, there we go. It's Christmas time in the village. There you yeah. go, right. Okay. <laughs> so there's a great idea on how to uh, take the miniature stuff, be it your little train garden or uh, uh, your little village or something like that, and put some live plants on it. You can, and even take a terrarium and put a few of the little pieces in there to kind of bring some... I guess more personality than that, not mm. just plants, but bringing some people. Yeah, instead of just a, just a big tree. That's There's right. so much more than just a big <laughs> tree. So, time to think Christmas, and here's one idea, and Carrie will have more Christmas ideas and thoughts in the garden coming up on Sunday Gardener next week. We'll see you then. If you have a garden question, send it to Sunday Gardener, WBAL-TV, 3800 Hooper Avenue, Baltimore, 21211. You can